How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to some Subnautica. If you remember from our last episode, we said we were gonna... I was gonna start back uh, building... I, I was gonna start back at my new base location. Well, we're still over here at our, uh, our old base location. Uh, what I just decided to do was build as much of the Neptune rocket as I could while we were here still above the uh, still near the shallows so I've already made uh, two titanium ingots I just need four lead and a computer chip I've also put a fabricator back in here so we can craft everything we need without draining from our cyclops so let's see for lead, so we need a computer chip. Computer chip is, I believe, table hole. Check our electronics. Computer chip, two table coral, two copper, and a gold. So once we hit the uh, snag where we can't go any farther in building, we will head back. We will start our move to the to deeper area where we're going to set up our base. But for now, we'll be making. We'll maybe, like I said, we'll be making as much of our Neptune rocket as we can. So copper wire. And computer chip. Now, as you see, it doesn't take much advanced materials to make the uh, Neptune rocket launch platform. So up we go to our mobile vehicle bay. And the reason I like to uh, start up my base here is because you need a need a nice little deep area for the Neptune rocket uh, platform. A little bit of lag. And we have construction. Go, my drones, go. Constructed. <gasps> Once that's all done, the uh, making of the rocket will be moved up to there. If you played this game, you know that. If you don't, then uh, we build the uh, Nep Neptune rocket uh, platform here at the mobile vehicle bay. But in order to construct the rest of it, we'll have to move to the platform. This is where we will construct our rocket. So we come over here. Now we see we need, for the gentry, we need a plus steel ingot, copper wire, and some lubricant. So let's dive back in. And go grab that stuff. Like I said, we're going to construct as much as we can. Because we will get to where we need uh, some stuff we have not acquired yet. So we need some more copper. Not more copper, more titanium. We already have a few pieces of lithium on us. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Because we already had one on us. We got lubricants in one of our chests. Let's see, where's our lubricant at? Having so many chests, it's hard to remember where exactly you put stuff. Where is my lubricant? There it is. Sometimes you uh, look in the right chest. Sometimes you end up uh, looking in the right chest the first time but you don't see it because you're like I got so many chests to check alrighty that's the gentry this will be the gentry completed oh 
no need copper. Sorry, my brain's a little slow right now. I haven't been up that long. No, I just woke up. <laughs> so not a, not as talk not as a little talkative or uh, brain farty. So copper wire. Let's go make sure we have everything. Copper wire plus steel. Okay, yeah, that's right. You need to make that. Get that all squared away. First, a titanium ingot. Now, like I said uh, in a previous video, now that we have the uh, Cyclops shield generator, in my opinion, is the hardest piece to get. At least for me, that when I first uh, played and beat the game. I had the, I had trouble finding the Cyclops shield generator fragment, or uh, the Cyclops shield generator data box. You know that was the part that took the longest for me. Just like, where is this thing? I know I'm in the right area. I just can't find the data box. Nope. Copper wire. Uh, brain farts. Can't really help it. At least, at least uh, after a little while, I will. There, now we have everything. Yeah, sorry about the brain farting. After after a while, you know, you won't have to worry about that. I'll be uh, nice and wide awake. It's like, when you have a nice cup of coffee, help oh, wake you up. You always get this nice music, like nice serious music when you're always going to start the new bit of the rocket. You seem awfully close. Do you have to be that close? I could see your details. Alright, this should be about done any second. We'll see what's next and what we need for it. I believe this will, I believe this might be as far as we can get. The rocket and the gentry. Ah, yes. As you see, we now need nickel. So, getting the platform and the gentry is all we can do now. We need to get nickel if we want to make the boosters. So, that'll be as all, that'll be all, this will be all we can do. All basic stuff that you easily get. But now that we got all that taken care of, let's see, where's the area we need to go? That way. So when we, to the deep area we want to get, we have to take our Cyclops all the way over there. Welcome up aboard. Uh -huh. All systems online. I love that automated voice. Welcome aboard, Captain. These are things grown, yes they are. We need food. Vital signs stabilizing. Give me food. And water him. Very hungry and very thirsty. Chinese potatoes grow pretty quickly. Ah, they are all nice and full. Oh, we, duh, I forget we put a fabricator up here. Well, well, it's good to keep a fabricator down there. Uh, let's see, we got a Cyclops engine uh, efficiency module that, you know, we picked up from the Aurora. So let's pop that in real quick. Engine energy uh, engine efficiency is increased to 300 percent. Alrighty, pilot sub. 
Engines online. As you know, for those of you who've played the game and tried the Cyclops, you know it is a little slow. Now you use this to avoid like the Reaper Leviathans and whatnot. We use these cameras to help with positioning. Back out. Now this is gonna take a minute for us to get where we need to go. Now we, we could go. In flight, emergency spawning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. Now, you can't use that for too long before you worry about your Cyclops uh, engine catching on fire. And uh, we don't have the uh, fire suppression system yet. So we don't want to do that. Now the area we do have to go through does have a uh, ghost leviathan in it. But if you take your time, oh, rocks. But if you do take your time, when the uh, reaper, when the ghost leviathan gets close, just immediately back off the. Uh, driving of your ship and uh, you can actually have and the ghost leviathan will actually just go about his normal swimming pattern so start descending down check our lower camera Sure, we're nice and clear. Once we get, once we start getting close to the 900 meter mark, we will be getting close to where we're gonna set up our base. We're looking good, all nice and clear. Bone shark starting this way. Sure, we're all nice and clear of everything. We're all good. <sighs> Slow journey. squid out here. Here we go. Here's where we're starting to get in. Shit. I completely forgot we don't have the uh, Cyclops upgrade modules. Cyclops Death Module Mark 1. Yeah, so we might have to. Uh, Yeah, I believe we might have to leave our Cyclops here. Because I was pretty sure I made the uh, Mark 1 depth module.
Oh no, that's right, it's made of our Cyclops uh, fabricator, so we don't have to. Plus stealing it in three rupees, okay. Easy. We could actually throw that together real quick. Whoops, not there. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Piece of lithium. Uh, and ten. Should have more lithium. More lithium. Alrighty. Yeah. Once again, still, still kind of brain farting. Gotta make it into a plus deal and get first. Titanium ingot. Beautiful. Plus deal ingot. Excellent. Now, let's check what it is for Mark II. No. Another plus deal. Uh, yeah, nickel. So, Death Module Mark 1. There we go, that's better. Now we can continue our journey into the deep. Ready for silent running. Dive. So like I said, this is going to get a little precarious. Once you start seeing the ghost rays, you know you're getting close. Oops. There's those little, like, blade thing. I don't know what they're called. I haven't really... Oh, you see him off in the distance there. There he is. Now, the first time I did this, he kept uh, bashing my sub pretty good. But like I said, the moment he starts coming get you, why well, you gotta be hogging this side? Just back off the wheel. And he won't target you. Could you please go away? <sighs> if this loser doesn't have to... If this loser... Oh, uh, as you can see. It shows us the danger on our map. A little sub-sonar. He's, be he's being a little asshole and he's hogging this side of the area. Go away! Go that way. Go over that way. You are ugly. You, you are ugly. You know that? Your mother must be ashamed of you because of how you look. Let's try scooting forward now. I like to stay close to the wall. Back off. Now, as long as, long, as, long as we're not moving, he, he won't attack our sub. That's right. Keep swimming. Now he will he will come close, as you can see. There we go. That's a good boy. <laughs> now not navigating all these things if you do this kind of strategy. See, he's trying to, he's coming this way, but. Alright. We've managed to successfully get past the re uh, ghost leviathan. We're in the clear now. 
Let's see, we're at the 600 meter mark. Now, righty. That was the big danger we had to worry about when uh, coming this way. Was him. Especially with the, you know... Dive down. Now, the only enemies we have are these little things right here. Oops. We should be close to where we set up. We're at the 800 meter mark. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close to where we set up our base. Plus, also the uh, crush depth of our cyclops. So I believe should be right over here. But uh, we're kind of we're running over our episode, guys. So I'll, kind of, I'll go. Indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Thank you. But anyway, guys, I will uh, get over to our area where we set up our base, and I will and I will have it fully set up for next episode. But anyway, guys, thank you all for joining me. Please be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and. You know, ding that bell whenever you want to know if I upload a new video. And I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.